What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. You might be wondering why you're looking at a vacuum and this is a motorcycle, Corvette, truck, and landscaping channel. But I'll tell you the story. I just got this $300 Dyson Ball Multi 4 2 vacuum for free. So let me tell you the story. At work today, a guy was throwing out this vacuum. Okay, he comes up to me and says, throwing this vacuum out, uh, here you go, basically. Uh, he said it lost suction power. And this is, like I just said, a $300 vacuum. And by looking at it, I don't know if you can tell that great, but it doesn't even look like it's barely been used. Look like it's been used maybe eight times max. So, finishing the story here, going on with the story. I take the vacuum, okay? Knowing in my head, he said it was a loss of suction power. In my head, I'm thinking, okay, probably something stuck in the holes or in the filter. So I bring it home. Uh, I get off, got off around 3.30, bring it home. And it took me 45 seconds to fix, the, fix this vacuum, guys. 45 seconds. And this is a $300 vacuum. So now that guy, I'm pretty sure, has gone out and bought another expensive vacuum. Uh, but... When he could have just basically saved himself $300 for what he paid for this vacuum. So continuing the story, I bring it home, take the vacuum halfway apart, which is very easy to do on this Dyson vacuum. So if you ha uh, after watching this video, make sure you click on to the next two or three videos that I make about this vacuum and how I fixed it in 45 seconds. So I took it apart halfway from... The left side of the vacuum there of how you take these Dyson ball vacuums apart. Looked at the filter. The filter was pretty much perfectly clean because again it was a still basically a brand new vacuum. Barely been used it looks like. Um, and I started using it, put it, put it back together, started using it and I heard it wasn't sounding like it normally does. So when I first got it and plugged it in, sounded normal was doing its normal thing as a vacuum. And then about 15 seconds later, it sounded like something was stopping the suction power. And right then I knew there was something stuck within the ball and holes uh, of this Dyson ball vacuum. So took it apart, uh, which is very easy to do. Didn't even fully take it apart. All you have to do is take off the side here and then take the filter off. And it is pretty much uh, good from there after you take the head off which again is very easy the head of this vacuum is only held on by a U knuckle which I'll show you right here very easy to take this thing off I showed you guys in another video uh, so make sure you watch that as well all you do is pull this knuckle off and then this the head of this vacuum just pops right off and this is where you basically unscrew this here with this yellow tab and then your filter is right behind it. And all you do is twist the filter to the left and it pops right off. But there was a clog stuck right here where the suction tube switches from the actual holes to the brush down here or the head of the vacuum. And there was a big hairball stuck right here in this crevice. And all I had to do was take a pair of tweezers, stick it in there, pull the hairball out, and boom, the vacuum worked perfectly fine. No suction power loss. So that's the story, guys. That's how I got a $300 vacuum for free, and now it's mine. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Got some more videos coming up with the bikes. So I'll see you guys in a little while. Peace. Make sure you hit that subscribe button.